Arizona Bridge in Staten Island to the streets of Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Manhattan, nearly 50,000 people ran the New York City Marathon today. Strong winds made the 26.2-mile trek more challenging than usual. Two Kenyans came out on top. Wilson Kipsang won the men's race, while Mary Katani took first place for the women. But the race also had many first-timers, including members of the CBS2 family. Dave Carlin has more. A wild and windy 2014 New York City Marathon, but now it's a wrap. The crowds are great like they always are. They kind of pull you along. For 26.2 miles across the five boroughs, about 50,000 runners face chilly challenges. Among the first-time marathoners, CBS2's own anchor and athlete, Christine Johnson, and revved-up reporter Jessica Schneider. From the start, the going got tough. It was so windy. The winds were, like, blowing us, you know, backwards and forwards and sideways. I am in serious pain. But they were tougher. Christine battled dehydration to get to the finish line. She says the crowd got her through it. Just to see the sea of people, and the people were so encouraging. For her, Jessica, and the others, finishing what they started was what mattered. <laughs> this cheering section from Long Island was for Carrie Oliver and Casey Rorich. Who does this for fun? I can't wait for it to be over. But they kept going. Runners found many rewards after making it across the finish line. A nice warm pretzel is like perfect for our walk back to the hotel. But the greatest rewards included the sense of accomplishment and for Christine, this moment with her CBS2 friends and family. 26.2 miles, we couldn't be more proud. Could not be more proud. Now the cleanup, the barricades disappearing fast and over here behind me, the stage coming down. Marathon done. In Columbus Circle, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.